Didi, most of my friends in the city have email accounts. Even I am curious to have one. Can I also open an email account? Sure, Rohan. You can also open an email account through various email services. But how, Didi? I know nothing about email. Okay, let me show you how you can open an account through an email service. Great, Didi. Email or electronic mail is the method of exchanging messages on the internet. An email contains various sections, recipients field, subject field and message area. You need to have an email account to use this application. Many web-based free email services are available like Gmail, Yahoo and Hotmail. You can create your own email account in any or all of these websites. Let us learn about how you can create and operate a Gmail account. To create an email account, first open a web browser. Now type www.gmail.com in address bar. Then click on the go button or press enter. After that click on the create an account button. Now fill the online registration form. Then click on the next steps button. And then click on the continue to Gmail button. You can now use the email account. To access your email account, you first need to sign in. For this, first go to the Gmail homepage and type your username and password. Then click on sign in at the bottom. You can now view your accounts page. Various links are displayed on the page like inbox, starred, important, sent mail, drafts and compose. These links contain related email items. Inbox contains all your incoming mails. By clicking on inbox, you can access all emails that you have received. You can also chat with your friends who are online. On the right section, you can see all the emails that you have received and by clicking on them, you can open each of them to view it. If you want to reply to the sender of an email, you just need to click on the arrow displayed on the right side of the email and then click on the reply button. A reply box is displayed with the recipient's email ID filled in the To field. Type your reply in the message text area and then click on the Send button on the top to send your email. Didi, how can I send an email to any of my friends? It's very easy. Just follow these steps. First, click on the Compose button and a new message window is displayed. Then, type the email ID of the person whom you want to send the email in the To field. You can send the email to multiple persons by adding their email IDs in the To field using a comma. Now, in the subject field, type the subject of your Now, let me see you log into your account Compose an email, attach a photo and send it to one of your friend. Yes, I am so interested in trying it myself. Step 1. In the Gmail home page, enter your email ID and password and click on Sign In. Step 2. Click on Compose button. A new message window will be displayed. Step 3. Type your friend's email ID in the To field. Step 4. In the Subject 
field type subject of your message step 5 click on attach file to attach a photo step 6 a new window will be displayed select photo and click open step 7 in the message box type your message step 8 press send button to send the email there are various interesting ways through which you can use the internet one of it is that you can also send voicemails or use the internet as a mobile phone really didi wow that's so exciting yes rohan there are services that makes internet telephone possible can you tell me about some of them please sure let's discuss about such services now voice over internet protocol is a technology used for internet phone services through VOIP, calls can be made on the internet using a VOIP service provider and standard computer audio systems. VOIP offers a substantial cost saving over traditional long-distance telephone calls. The primary example of VOIP is Skype. Let's now learn how to download and install Skype. Skype is a communication tool which allows you to talk through internet to anyone in any part of the world for free. You can make a call from your computer or laptop to other Skype users for free and to landlines or mobile phones for a fee. Skype has features like instant messaging, file transfer, voice calls and video calls. Steps in downloading and installing Skype. First, click on Start button and then click Internet Explorer. Once Internet Explorer is opened, then type www.skype.com in the address bar. Now, click on the Go button or press Enter. The Skype home page is now open. Then, click on download link, computer is selected by default in device section. After that, click on get Skype for Windows desktop button. The opening Skype setup.exe appears. Now, click on save button and save the file in an appropriate location on your computer. To install the application, go to the location where setup file is saved and then double click on the Skype setup.exe file. Open file security warning appears. Next, click on run button to start the installation. Now, select English in language drop down menu and then click I agree next button. Then, click on Continue button. The Skype installation starts. Wait for the installation to complete. Once Now, I will teach you how to interact with contacts by using Skype. Yes, please do. All this is so very interesting. To start Skype, enter your Skype name and password and then click on Sign me in button. Now you need to add contacts on Skype. Click on the contacts menu option, select add contact and then select search Skype directory. Provide the details of the person you wish to add. It asks for email, phone number, name and Skype name details. Search the contact and then click add button to add the contact. A contact request book is displayed. Click send request button. When the person accepts your request, his or her name will appear on your contact list. You can interact with your contacts by selecting the contact that is online. The green check mark appears beside the contact name showing that the contact is online. Click on contacts tab. Click on the name of the person with whom you want to have a chat conversation with. A chat window with the person's name appears. Place your cursor in the chat box 
and start typing your messages. Click send or press enter to send the message. For voice call, click on call button. If contact accepts your call, then you can talk to him or her. To end the call, click on end call button. If there is web camera installed on your computer, then you can make a video call as well. Click on video call button to start the video call. You can also share files to the contact by selecting the contact. Select conversation button, select send and then file button. Browse and select the file you want to send and then click open. Your contact can also send you any file and it will come in the notification window in contact list as orange check marks. You can receive the file by clicking the save as button. Choose the location you want to save and then click on save button which appears in dialog box. To open file, click open file or click show in folder. Once you are done using Skype, click Skype and select Sign Out button. You are now signed out of your Skype account. Now, let me see you. Let me now show you another such service which you can use for similar purpose. It is called Hangout. Hangout? Yes, Hangout. It is an instant messaging and video chat platform developed by Google. It is the composite version of three messaging products of Google, namely Talk, Google Plus Messenger and Hangout. Hangout allows users to hold conversations between two or more users. There are many features available in Hangout application. Follow these steps to start using Hangout. First, creating a Hangout, sign in to Google+. Google Plus is a social networking site that is designed for Google account holders. Now, find the Hangout frame. The Hangouts are located on the right-hand side of the Google Plus page. Next, create a new Hangout. Click the New Hangout field at the top of the Hangouts list. The list will change to a list of your contacts and Google Plus circles. Check the box next to the names of people that you want to add to the Hangout. You can also search for people and circles by typing the name, email address or phone number on the search box. Now start chatting in Google Plus Hangout. To start chatting, click on the person with whom you want to chat. A small window as shown below will appear. Type the text in send a message box and then press enter. If you want to add emoji to your conversation, then click or tap the smiley face on the left side of the chat field. A list of emoticons and emoji that you can use will open. They are separated into categories which you can navigate by selecting the icons at the top of the emoticon screen. You can add images to your hangout by clicking the camera icon on the right side of your chat field. This will open the select a photo from your computer or an option menu on mobile devices. You can use your webcam or phone's camera to take photos and share them or you can add photos from the other sources such as your computer's or phone's memory. To turn the chat into a video chat, click the video camera button in the top of the chat box. The other person will receive a notification that you are attempting Rohan, nowadays many people in the world use Facebook or other such social media services to communicate with each other. Didi, what is Facebook and social media services? I am not understanding. Oh, don't worry. I will tell you about them. Social media refers to the means of interactions among people in which they create, share 
and exchange information through internet networks. Social media is the collection of online communications channels dedicated to community-based input, interaction content sharing and collaboration. Examples of social media applications are Facebook, Blogs, Twitter and LinkedIn. There are different types of social media. Let's learn more about them. The types of social media tools are online chatting, blog, social networking. Online chat may refer to any kind of communication over the internet that offers a real-time transmission of text messages from sender to receiver. Online chat may address point-to-point -point communications as well as multicast communications from one sender to many receivers and voice and video chat. Examples are Yahoo Messenger and GTalk. Blog is an online journal kept by an individual, group or organization. Blogs can be used for sharing information about your subject on the internet, share news about recent events or developments and share interesting discussions and debates by writing about them. Examples of blogs are Blogger and WordPress. Social networking is a platform to build social networks or social relations among people who share interests, activities, backgrounds or real-life connections. Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn are some examples of social networking sites. Facebook is currently the most popular social media services. Let me show you how you can use this service. Sure, Didi. I am so interested in Facebook. These are the steps to use Facebook. First, open a web browser. Then, type www.facebook.com in address bar and then click Go button or press Enter. In the sign up, fill in the registration details in the boxes and then click on the sign up button. It will take you to three steps process to complete the registration. Now click on find friends button to add contacts. You can skip this process at this stage. Next fill out profile information page. You can skip this process as well. You can set your profile picture by uploading a photograph present in your computer. After that, click Save and Continue button and your Facebook account is created. You can add people by typing their name or email in Find People You Know section. You can upload your status as well on Facebook. To do that, click on Status button and then type your status and then click Post button. In Timeline tab, you can specify about your workplace, city, school and your relationship status. The Timeline bar also contains search box where you can search your friends by typing his name and then you can visit his profile. Click on Add Friend button to send the friend request to him or her. Once you are done with Facebook, you can sign out by clicking setting icon on Facebook bar and then click on log out option. Now you have a Facebook account. When you visit next time, sign in using your email or phone number and then type your password. Having a Facebook account allows you to post status messages which can be seen by your friends. To post a status message, click on the blank box under update status and type your status message. Then click post at the bottom. To comment on a post or photo or any content, click the comment link below a message. A text box will pop up. Type your comment on the box and press enter.